Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 3.5, Problem 15. This is Section 3.5, Problem 15. We have 5.6 divides into 15.68. So for a problem like this with a division, the number in front of the division symbol, or what's really called the divisor, has to have the decimal point written as far to the right as it will go. So that means it has to be moved over for this problem one spot. Now the rule is however many places you move the decimal point for the number outside of the division symbol, you have to move it the same number of places for the number under the division symbol. In this particular problem, one spot. But if the one in front had to move eight spots, the one underneath has to move eight spots. Same number, whatever it is. So for this one, one spot. Underneath, one spot. So I can even rewrite this problem as 56 divides into 156.8. So we'll do this division problem. And whatever we get for an answer, that decimal point has to come straight up vertically. So 56 divides into 1, 1's not big enough, it won't go. 56 divides into 15, still not big enough, it won't go. 56 divides into 156, that'll go. 3 won't quite do it. 3's a little bit too big, so it'll only divide in twice. If you do 3, it'll be bigger than 156, you'll, you'll see. Um, but so let's do 2. So 2 times 6 is 12. And then write the 2 carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus the 1 more we carried is 11. So I get 112. Now I can subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. 5 minus 1 is another 4. 1 minus 1 really cancels off. Now I have my answer from the subtraction. Go over one digit to the right for the number under the division symbol and bring it straight down. That 8 comes down next to the 44. Makes 448. Now. 56 will divide into 448 how many times? Well, to get an estimate, just do 5 divides into 44. Should get you pretty close. So with, you'll get you within one or two tries. So 5 times 8 is 40. That's, that's going to be close. So let's do an 8 and now get a more exact answer. 8 times 6 is 48. For 48, write the 8. Carry the 4. 8 times 5 is 40, 40 plus 4 more that we carried is 44. And now if you subtract, everything lines up nicely, you have a remainder of 0. So the answer is 2.8. The answer for 56 divides into 156.8 is 2.8. The answer to the original question is also 2.8. 5.6 divided into 15.68 will be 2.8.